Hello, my name is Peter Johns and I'm going to run through how you do the Hall Pike and also the Epley Maneuver. And I have here to assist me today my son Alan. Say hi. Hello. And he doesn't have BPBV, but he's agreed to help me today, so uh, we'll just get on with it here. So, first thing you do is position the patient so that uh, they're seated with their legs up and when they lie back their head will be able to dangle over the bed. And then you ask them which, which side, when they roll over in bed, uh, do they tend to get dizzy on? Which side is this? That one. That one. So he thinks th we think this is going to be the positive side. We'll try the other side just for fun to see uh, first. But this, this is the hall pike we're going to do. So we tell the patient, okay, what I want you to do is, uh, on the count of three, I'm going to lie down quite quickly, and I'm going to want you to extend your head over the edge of the bed, and I'm going to turn your head that, that way. You just let me direct your head. It may make you dizzy, but that's okay. It's all part of getting you better. Uh, I want you to keep your eyes open, even if, even if you get dizzy, okay? Okay. So then, I'm going to just move a little bit out of your view, but uh, you just say, oh, no, we're going to be turning this way, right? Okay. You ready? One, two, three. Down we go. And at this point, uh, we, I look at his eyes. It might hold up his eyelid open a little bit. And because this is the negative hall pike side, nothing happens. I wait about 10, 15 seconds just to make sure and nothing happens. So that's the negative side. Then we sit him back up. And sometimes they go like, oh, I got a little dizzy there sitting up. That's, that's normal. But they don't get really vertiginous. Now I'm going to uh, do the other side, which is going to be the positive side. He's not going to be positive because he's normal, but we'll pretend he is. Okay, so this time we're going to turn your head that way. Understand? On three. One, two, three. Okay, and that's one, two, three. And suddenly he's going to Grab the bed, clench his eyes, kind of make a ah sound because he's getting intensely vertiginous and you're going to see nystagmus with an upward and rotational component. And now you know that the autolith is in this ear, the downward ear, which in this case is the left ear, and that's the positive hull pike on this side, and this is the affected ear, the downward left ear. This is also position one of the Epley maneuver. So at this point, I would just leave him right in this position for about two minutes. Some people I know say a uh, shorter time than that, but I think the longer you spend, the more likely you're going to get a, a, a good result with your epi maneuver. So I just sort of chat with them and, uh, uh, for two minutes, and I'd look at my watch to make sure that's how long it took. And after two minutes, I'm going to turn the head 90 degrees just to the, the opposite side, which is, was the negative hall pike side. And this, at this point, now he will probably get vertiginous again, get some nystagmus, get some vertigo. That's good. It means the rocks are moving. So again, you chat with them. Have any kids? i got two boys. They're a pain in the neck. Anyway, um, you chat with them for a couple of minutes, and after a couple of minutes, two minutes, by your watch, you ask the patient to now, I want you to turn on your side facing uh, this way, okay? Uh, and keep supporting their head. Keep, uh, turn right on your side, if you can. It's a little tight uh, stretcher here. And their head's going to rotate another 90 degrees now. And this is in the clockwise direction, because we started here, here. That's 90 and another 90. Some people say straight down. doesn't really matter. I prefer to, to be like this, just remember that it's 90 degrees from the second position. This is now the third position. And we're going to go again two minutes in this position. And after two minutes, I'm going to say, okay, can you just move your your uh, feet, uh, your, sorry, bend your legs so that they're over the edge of the bed there, yeah, and then you're going to sit them up, I kind of put their, 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 their uh, chin to their chest and then sit them up, and you just leave them there for 10 minutes, I walk away for 10 minutes, and then I come back, and I do the hall pike again on the affected side, which was this side, and if it was affected, they'll get nothing, they'll be, feel perfectly solid. Some people think that if you do another hall pike, you might, um, uh, you know, cause the, the, the stone to go back in the posterior semicircular canal, but that makes no sense to me because we often talk about repeating the Epley maneuver, and the first part of the Epley maneuver is doing the positive hall pike side. So how could it be uh, a bad thing to do the, the, um, the hall pike again? I, I've been doing it for years, uh, and I've never had a patient who was negative uh, become positive uh, days later. They just, once they're negative, they're negative. And, uh, I don't tell them to sit up, asleep sitting up for two days. I think uh, the people who do, I bet the patients don't do it, and I think it makes no difference. And I followed my patients up, called them two weeks later, and they've all had, uh, the ones who had a good response to the emergency department stayed good for two weeks and longer. 
Okay, now, uh, what if the other, the, the positive hull pike was actually on, when, with their head turned this way? We'll go through that, okay? So, uh, quickly, if we go down again, same thing, we're going to turn his head this way, he gets all, he has nothing happens, one, two, three, now he gets dizzy and he's, uh, and his eyes are all jerking around. Two minutes in that position, two minutes in that position, that's a 90 degree turn, and now we're going counterclockwise, right? Now the next position, even he knows now, the next position is over here, 90 degrees, three, two minutes here, and then the sit up, boom, and you're done, you're cured, you know how to do the upping maneuver now, good luck.